Welcome back everyone and welcome to World of Worship and today I've been thinking to share with you if you are a new player, let's say if you just uh, started the game, uh, you know, a couple months ago or weeks ago or so and you probably have one question and the question is which uh, line you want to grind for the next year. So they are of course some good lines and there are some yes shall i say less good uh, line to um, research and to grind and uh, i will just start with one battleship line that probably every single uh, one of you which like to play battleship will try to grind and of course it's the italian uh, battleship line they will come uh, sometimes next year and I don't know how to explain. The Julia decided that tier 5 is the most broken, overpowered tier 5 of battleship. But hear me out. Not because it has great armor, because it has one of the worst armor of all tier 5 battleship. Um, I do not know exactly what's the cork, what's the speciality of the Italian battleship. But speed is definitely uh, not the speediest but pretty damn um, good speed concealment it's amazing but what it makes them a little bit different between everyone else it's of course the rudder the rudder concealment and how tight the turns uh, the US also have a good turning radius but does not have speed you know what I mean I'm talking about tier 5 all the way to tier 8 uh, I know North Carolina has decent speed I know that uh, but what I'm trying to say is that probably the core kits that you almost feel like you're playing a super big heavy cruiser with, you know, battleship guns and super heavy cruisers armor, not quite battleships armor. But what makes this ship broken, it has one of the best dispersion of all tier 5's battleships. You know, shall I put it this way? She has cruiser level of dispersion. That makes this ship broken. You will hit every every time, and even the damn destroyer you will hit them. And that's kind of uh, important because, guys, if a battleship has worse dispersion, you still have to wait thirty seconds, right? And you know you have to make sure that the the shells will connect, and you will hit your target. That's the main core. If your dispersion and if your sigma are all over the place, what the hell you even play the battleship? You're just a food piñata, farming piñata versus anything else. And that's the sad part, but it is true. Of course, guys, the, the downside with Italian battleship is, of course, AA. What AA? No AA whatsoever. So you have to uh, stick close with your ally. Because I do believe all of them, they have will have crappy AA. And the secondary, it's very mediocre as best. Um, so, yeah, what secondary? And armor, what armor? But there will be change for tier up and uh, tier 8 and up. Because probably some ships uh, will not have the armor of tier 8 and above Italian. So th they will definitely have huge amount of deck armor and armor all over the place from tier 8 and up so that's the italian for me i would very much say if you are a new player and if you like dpm you like concealment you like um, how should i say very fun i repeat very fun i very much would like to say my top uh, tip to you there are literally two or uh, yeah you can say it three lines uh, the the whole package is crazy strong but for me my recommendation number one is for the uk light cruiser i know i still working on the, to get the minotaur but guys i have 2.6 million uh, free experience so i can unlock minotaur right now if i so wish and want i just have to play a little bit more with edibur neptune and minotaur the entire line guys it's absolutely broken in matter of fact i'll go so far from tier 5 you have shit of torpedoes 
and good DPM and of course squeegee but you have to know you have to smoke you have to know your limitation the Leander same story as one of the best tier 6 cruiser in this game I always take her for those missions I'm talking about uh, uh, Aegis and all those operation of the week always take my uh, tier 6 US uh, sorry British uh, Leander why it's a DPM monster I make short work of all bots and I do believe she's really strong in right hands uh, Fiji well the best tier 7 cruiser in the entire game by far there isn't any ship close to this DPM monster absolutely ridiculous she has the whole package she is the best it is so strong of course you may argue that Edinburgh it's mediocre as best Neptune I did play her a couple times she's squeegee as all hell and uh, your AA it's absolutely fantastic your AA defense is stock without captain 96 with captain with everything 100 so you have 100 in AA Minotaur that's the reason you want to um, play this line for Minotaur what's Minotaur? Minotaur is same story best AA in this game or close to that together with Wooster and probably um, um, Alexandra Nevsky she's fun she has the best concealment she has the best torpedo of all cruisers this is a torpedo monster matter of fact you can almost play her almost play her as a destroyer you do not ever want to if you are a battleship charges monster because it might actually kill you with torpedoes alone it's a DPM monster, it, this will do a very short work of all the destroyers. You don't want to come near this uh, ship if you're a destroyer. How is that? I do believe Worcester, Minotaur and uh, Smolensk, it's the biggest threat for the destroyers. You do not want to gunfight any of those. They will do very short work of you. Matter of fact, I would very much like to say it will take uh, less than 15 to 20 seconds from full HP destroyed to zero that will be so darn fast this is one of the fastest uh, Daka Daka um, uh, ships reload crazy fast good concealment and you have super heal is she worth the hell yes she's a lot of fun but remember you need to play this entire line to make her work and know exactly what the limitation and her strength and of course her weakness is arm what arm <laughs> you have no armor whatsoever you made of city does so remember that you know but if you want to let's say still play a uh, pretty damn good um, uh, they are of course don't think th don't get me wrong <laughs> probably I'm wrong but the Italian uh, cruiser line are not bad Venezia it's definitely one of the strongest um, um, uh, tier 10 cruiser and it's a lot of fun in, in many ways guys she fulfilled the role of a cruiser what's a cruiser it's a support ship staying behind with this thing has all tools in the world to literally become a good support uh, cruiser and deal a lot of a uh, huge amount of damage very far away how is that because it's the the main armament they do have a 950 meters per second sap which is literally laser guns and maximum range 17.1 probably it's not so great but probably you can upgrade it with 3 million um, module you can upgrade further um, so yeah she is very strong As a matter of fact I do highly recommend this um, line if you are a new player and if you want to think about a cruiser line beside that uh, I don't know guys seriously <coughs> I have no idea what I recommend for the battleship line. Sure, it's the Yamato. Sure, yes, I do need to say that, guys. If you really want a good solid from literally tier 3 all the way to tier 10, none of those battleships are bad. It's Russian, you know, what the hell. And I do believe tier for tier, this thing is absolutely a monster. Um, I do own her and know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. This is by far the best tier 6 
tier 7 battleship in this entire game it's a monster it's a very hard hitting and yes she's fulfill a role of a cruiser not sniping 20 kilometers away but in your face type of gameplay they are strong guys seriously there is a reason why you say sin up in ranked uh, or spring uh, ranked on all that it's because it's one of the strongest it's a lot of fun um, closer you are the more accurate guns and hard things you are and the armor it's absolutely fantastic of some very strange reason not the secondary but the AA it's a bloody fantastic as well I have no idea why the hell you play a US battleship when this thing it's almost as broken uh, as the best of all uh, battleship line uh, you know it sounds weird but there is truth guys 69 in AA and uh, uh, yeah she, uh, she has very few weakness guys seriously there isn't any weakness about this ship it's just absolutely ridiculous and say story with the tier 8 tier 9 it's all right ish and of course the Kreml the tier 10 but so I do I recommend this line hell yeah this is one strong real battleship line real heavy heating and uh, something else I very much like to say that um, I do have a lot of success playing all of them even the tier 6 is male it's crazy strong and so on so there isn't anything wrong or bad uh, ship or stinker in this line all of them they are great absolutely ridiculous and now I don't know what to say uh, about that guide but very fast I'd like to talk about the cruisers uh, uh, before I uh, end up because we're still in this tree. the cruiser line um, they are strong they are <laughs> the, 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 the Russian cruiser are close to overpower especially this one this thing when you upgrade it it's absolutely a previous a monster I I know I'm ashamed of what I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say right now but sometimes I'm just go and take her for a spin because she has too many freaking guns and there's too much salvo I cannot come up with I know St. Louis also the same story who has a lot of guns but this has better range and uh, I don't know how to say it. Uh, better guns uh, seriously uh, you have less HP pool and no AA that's the biggest downside with this ship but this is one hell of a strong tier 3 in my opinion too damn strong especially when you have upgraded guns and this is absolutely ridiculous um, and same story guys with all uh, Soviet they are uh, one of the strongest uh, especially let's put it in this way the Bujoni um, I always take her with those missions uh, Leander Bujoni because they are too strong uh, you know seriously I'm not joking they are one hell of a strong cruiser line and um, has perfect guns the ultimate uh, range perfect guns yeah Bujoni it's my highly recommended tier 6 cruiser it's absolutely blast to play and she's strong she's crazy 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 strong but of course guys it's almost the same story with um, uh, the um, French they are also pretty damn good fulfill the role of a cruiser but then of course over here you have um, you know Riga Petropavlovsk and Alexander Nevsky uh, depend on your play style uh, of Petro Pavlos more close quarter the Alexander Naves it's crazy strong I do have her I do enjoy her um, the pr problem with her she is that she has small caliber guns and she's kind of a big I have no idea why uh, Alexander Nevsky is so crazy big she's supposed to be light cruiser but she's she, she's big size easy to hit if you are a battleship on the other hand if you brawl with her you're doing something wrong on the other hand she is one of the best support ship you can have if you are a battleship she has radar hydro good dpm she will do very short work of all destroyers so yeah go and figure I'm not saying she's the best because there's a lot of tier 10 cruiser which you know same story with Petro Pavlovsk more hard hittings and some way also uh, almost as close but my favorite is a tier 10 cruiser which one is it do you think uh, it's not Soviet guys it's German 
I know it sounds extremely uh, crazy what I'm gonna say right now. It's the Hindenburg. Uh, it used to be the one of the best cruiser line uh, back then when the when the cruiser line was um, released. Not so much today, but the tier 10 Hindenburg. It's OP in that regard. It has the craziest HE pen of all ships, and you have 12 guns, and you have uh, crazy uh, accuracy and range my range is 925 meters per second I do pan 51 millimeters and um, what is my range 20.7 20.7 kilometers I do very short work of Moscow Petropavlos with this uh, HE spamming uh, guns because the armor which they can stay bow on, it does not work versus the Hindenburg. This is the cruiser who Krem have to fear, Yamato have to fear, and same story with Petro Pavlos. This will kill them all. Uh, you will do full damage and put the uh, enemy on fire at the same time. Um, she used to have one of the best AA, not so much anymore, because the, the king of all cruisers AA, it's pr probably Wooster Minotaur. And third, it's Alexandra Nevsky. Yes, you heard me right. It's the third best cruiser, AA cruiser in this game. Yeah, go and figure. Uh, Hindenburg used to be one hell of a strong. It, she's strong, but she has kind of a short AA range. That's the weirdest part. You have best hydro. You do not have any radar. That's the downside of, of this. Otherwise, this will be broken overpower. But yes, she's worth it. I'm not saying the Rune is the best tier 9, she's all obvious, alright-ish, same so with Hipper, so it's mediocre line, but well worth the tier 10. Now we are going for the destroyers, my still to go destroyer of all the destroyers, it's of course the Fletcher. The Fletcher guys, even though the entire line is probably pain in the ass to play today in today's meta, the Fletcher guys, it's still the king of all tier 9, in my honestly opinion, still the king of all tier 9 uh, destroyer, because you do not, I think you, you're wrong if you use too much of your gun, yes, you can defend yourself, yes, it's, it's a good DPM monster, yes, you can definitely do uh, some kind of uh, defend yourself versus other destroyers. Yes, you can, but she's not supposed to do that pure 100% gun fighting versus other destroyers. The strength about this destroyer are two. One of them, of course, is the torpedo. Those 10 torpedoes, guys, are extremely hard hitting. I, I know you only have 10 of them, but and the range is, uh, I do believe, 10.5. But you can create such a good looking uh, wall, torpedo wall, and it's almost impossible to dodge, guys. At close range, you kind of need to have close range, but you have also the maneuverable. It's this is the most maneuverable tier nine destroyer in the entire game. You turn on a dime, you have great concealment, and that package, one of the best hard hitting storm beside the Japanese ones. You ha you have uh, the best turning radius and very very darn agile and concealment. It's fantastic. I mean, sure the. Some destroyers they will outspite you, but it must be the damn Kagero or Yugomo and all that. Of course, they can fight back, but uh, one 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 versus one. You don't want to get a gunfight with a Fletcher class. And also, I forgot the best damn smoke in the game. Absolutely ridiculous. And something else, and this is something that many many players forgot. Yes, you only have 10 torpedoes, but you reload, the, the reload with my build, it's so crazy fast. What do I reload? 81.1 seconds. Yeah, but it is pretty, pretty, pretty fast. As a matter of fact, it's so fast, it's close to the pen European destroyers. Not far from uh, both of them. I'm talking about the Halland and uh, Östergötland. Uh, sure, 
they do have faster torpedo uh, and torpedo are not bad they do whopping damage guys and that's the main reason you want to play a fletcher because you want to do that close to 19 thousand damage one torpedo hit which basically means that if you are a full hp yamato you don't you want to eat more than maximum three da uh, three of those torps if you eat more than three you might actually die if you eat let's say just half five I don't think you're gonna survive that engagement you may or may not you know what I mean so what I'm trying to say is uh, the this torpedo boat it's not something you tickle you killing your enemy with that and then you know while the time that Yamato received couple torpedoes your um, torpedo reload it's almost up there of course torpedo boats wise the Benham it's the best of all tier 9 um, that's the best Benham the premium overpower torpedo boat from us benham um on the other hand overall yes she's a solid um she's a solid uh destroy line however there are some um uh, in the line which makes them um, questionable you know what i mean but seriously the reason we want to play destroy sneaky sneaky send tor torpedo and do a lot of damage of course uh what else should i talk about my to go ships are the uh, the the, the uh, there's two kind of uh, of torp torpedo boat this of course is the shimakaze boat or you can go for the akizuki line kitakaze and harigumo and they are more like pure gunboat line and this is more like torpedo boat line. both of them i do believe they are strong in right hands you have to download the limitation but tier for tier guys seriously once again kitakaze it's the king of dpm i cannot come over, uh, up with one single um, uh, destroyer which has higher uh, dpm remember this thing will pen a lot and i'm talking about 100 millimeter will pen i do believe it's the um, he shells armor pen 37 i do believe why i do have ifhe yeah i do have ifhe 37 which basically means that whatever i hit i pen of course not the soviet ones because the soviets moscow and kremlin they have 50 millimeters of of some parts of the ships but this one is very very darn strong and at the same time you do fear if you are a destroyer you want to want, do not want to gunfight this one um and same story um, i kind of forgot with the um, entire akizuki kitakaze Harigoma. they have more than decent aa uh, yes you heard me right they have more than decent aa they are of course better destroyers uh, which i can if you are afraid of aircraft carry and you don't want to uh, or you will or you want to engage them and you want to let's say um, um shoot them all down i do recommend the pain european destroyer uh with holland as the top dog which i do have Osterjotlan and holland has one of the best tier 9 uh, and tier 10 a a platform in the entire game um, i very much like to say the holland's uh, aa performance is stronger than any other ship in this game I repeat the concealment are um, 2.7 and your AA bubble are 6 so between 2.7 and 6 km you do to your um, your um, plane down and with AA defense and reinforcement you press O oh, those two combine with this pretty pretty decent this ships made to shoot down all planes uh, so if you want to have the best torpedo range speed and also the best aa yeah i highly recommend to have this beast there is a reason why people want to not because you're gonna do a lot of damage you don't uh, but you make sure you, you do couple of hits so once again guys even though um, she's not the most consistent damage you, you do not uh, kill your and even if you hit every single torpedo hit i'm talking about 10 you're now never gonna kill a full hp battleship you can't if they are so mediocre torpedoes 
but it's a great different gameplay with great AA, great torpedo and pretty decent firepower. Not the best but you can definitely build if you so wish and want and that is my recommendation guys let me know in a comment below or why do not recommend the, the other one they are not bad but i'm just saying for particular uh, reasons i'm talking about aa reason she is a king she is definitely king of all and with this jersey is even more king because you more playing you shoot down more stronger this ships become so it is go and figure so let me know in the comment below what you think about all those recommendations for new players did, did i mention something right or wrong so guys take care of yourself catch you in the next one bye